There's a few controversies recently. Has, Has there? Have you, <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed. Have you been surprised with the, the repercussions it's come with? Uh, no, not really. No, I'm well aware of what the repercussions are. Um, I, I take very little notice of the repercussions, to be honest with you. Um, I think uh, the people that are criticising me, um, I, I care not really for their opinions. Um, I think a lot of them are morally bankrupt individuals uh, and quite frankly, their opinion means nothing to me. My close friends and my family know the sort of bloke I am. Uh, they know what I what I do for people, certainly in this area. Uh, they know how much good I've done, and their import their opinions are the only ones that are really important to me. So um, uh, the repercussions are seriously. I, I mean, if they realised just how little they got to me, they'd stop. Yeah, they don't. They're my water for ducks back. I mean, I, I've had fifty thousand people singing "You fat bastard" and what a big nose you've got. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Few num- a few numpties Snap, in the media. <laughs> what was the crack with the club? Uh, that was my decision. Was it? Yeah, yeah. I, t- I took that decision because a load of people, um, a load of the uh, people who were the part of the old cancel culture uh, were ringing up Southampton Football Club, sending emails going, oh, he shouldn't be an ambassador for the football club. Uh, and the football club were good as gold. Um, you know, they've they've always been very supportive of me. Uh, and I just said to him, look, I said, I don't want you getting all that grief. Uh, so uh, I think I'll step away from the role as ambassador. I'm not, I'm, I'm not employed by Southampton Football Club. I'm not on the payroll of Southampton Football Club. If I do something for them, then I'll invoice them. So I don't have a weekly wage or a yearly wage from them. So it wasn't any big deal. And, and I just said, look, I'm, I'm just going to resign as ambassador and then people will stop bothering you. Simple as that, really. What does the future hold? Whew. Who knows? What does the future hold? Are you golfing wheels <laughs> next Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of golf, I hope. Uh, uh, lots of golf. No um, no vaccine passports. Uh, um, <laughs> no, uh, mm, I don't know. I, it, what's going on in the world the last couple of years has been very strange, very strange indeed. Uh, and there are some things that I think... Uh, uh, are going to have a profound effect uh, on us as human beings. Um, and unless we fight back against what is trying to be taken away from us, then I think the world's going to be a worse place. Uh, and that's why uh, I've been prepared to stand up and say what I've been saying, um, because I don't like uh, what is being predicted for us in the future. Um, and that's why I've been happy to to stand up and take the flak um, and I'll continue to do that uh, because I stand up for what I believe in. And people uh, uh, might have a different opinion to me, uh, and that is all well and good by me. I don't have a problem with people. I don't expect people to believe everything I say uh, because I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not arrogant enough to think that I know what's right, um, but... Uh, I've got uh, a reasonable amount of intelligence. Um, I've got a lot of common sense. Um, And the evidence that I've seen and been presented with over the last couple of years uh, tells me that this world is not going in a very good direction. Um, And so my opinion is that, you know, we need to to fight back against some of the stuff that's going on. Uh, And if somebody has a different opinion, that's fine. Um, All I ask is that, they do their own research and don't automatically take for granted that it is the truth, the stuff that comes out on the mainstream media. Because um, I'm sorry, but uh, they don't always tell you the truth on the television. Um, I mean, that might be a, a revelation to some people. At the end of the day, we don't really know what the truth is. You can believe what you want to believe, but how do you really know what's true and what's not true? Uh, and that's the the big thing for me um, is that I like to be given both sides of the story and then I'm, re- I'm reasonably intelligent enough to have a look at the evidence from both sides and make up my own mind as to what I think is the, is the truth uh, based on the evidence that's been provided. Now, what hasn't happened over the last couple of years 
is we haven't had both sides of the story. All we've been fed is one side of the story and the other side of the story is completely censored uh, and people completely cancelled, um, you know, social media accounts taken down. Uh, and I don't think that's the way a free society should behave. I think we should be able to tolerate all opinions, uh, see both sides of the story and make up your own mind about what's going on. Uh, and I will always stand up for those things. Um, and I've been misrepresented quite a lot in the media because I've been very open in saying that I don't actually believe everything that the media tells me. I have no idea what percentage of the stuff that they do say is true, uh, but I am 100% convinced that we are not told the truth 100% of the time. And that's where, that's my position. That's where I stand. And those views will be continue to be misrepresented because the people that I'm telling you are, are not telling you the whole truth are the ones that are criticising me. And they're going to criticise me because I don't believe them, not all the time. And that's as simple as that. Was the absence of debate, was you shocked? You know, when you initially brought up, especially within football, the the the, the connections possibly with the, all the cardiac issues. Yep. When you just bringing it up, was the absence of debate shocking to you? The fact that the absolutely, I, I the believe back? I believe that there has been a dereliction of duty from football authorities to not even want to investigate the rise in the issues of heart problems with, with young, fit footballers. It doesn't make any sense. And, and <laughs> I had a conversation with, with Bobby Barnes, um, who tried to tell me that actually there's no increase, it's normal. This is all normal what's happening, but it's just that normally it doesn't get publicised. And I was like, whoa. Hang on a minute, Bobby. I went, me and you played pretty much the, you know, the same time. You're a bit older than me, but we, we our paths crossed. I said, uh, let me ask you a question. I said, how many players in your career that you played with or against did you see suffer a heart problem on a football pitch or on a training ground in your time in your professional career? Uh, and he took a second and he went, well, you see, there was... Mark Vivian Foe and uh, you know, Fabrice Mwamba. And I went, I'll stop you there, Bob. I said, those two were both after you retired for a start. I said, so I'll ask you again. How many? Name me. Couldn't name me one. And I went, please don't tell me that this is normal. I said, because I've got common sense. I watch a lot of football. I watch a lot of other sports. My life has been devoted to sport. I watch a lot. I play a lot. I said, and I've noticed what's going on. I've also noticed, by the way, the amount of football matches that are being stopped because of heart problems in the crowds this season, which nobody talks about. And they're not allowed to kind of mention that it could possibly be to do with that. Um, so, you know, I made my position clear. Uh, I still think that the PFA need to, need to investigate. Uh, if it's not the PFA, then the Premier League or the FA or UEFA, FIFA, somebody needs to investigate what's going on because I'm I'm not even I'm not even said I'm not even saying that it is definitely the vaccine that's causing it because it might be that if you've had COVID and this might be an effect of having COVID in the long term mm -hmm. it might be it might be that but what I'm saying is. You need to know one way or the other. So let's have an investigation. Asking the question should and be And let's the ask the question. And you shouldn't. that shouldn't be a problem. Why is asking questions now deemed to be a right-wing conspiracy theory? Yeah. That's what I don't get, mm -hmm. you know? Um, What's their current stance on it? Are they investigating or are they just completely dismissing it and not doing anything about it? I haven't it? seen anything uh, at the moment that tells me that they're looking into it which just beggars belief, to be honest. But I think it's just, you know, as it's, it's, it's human beings, as all being different, all having different opinions. That's exactly it. Everybody it coming from different angles. But if you can't ask the questions, if you can't have a debate, then... What sort of world we live in? We might as well go and live in China, if that's, what, if that's the way we want to go. Um, and I don't particularly want to live under that regime. Um, but the way things are going... 
might not be too long before we're there. But like you said, whether you agree with what you say, what you're not, I think it's it can be quite admirable just to go against the grain and to stand up to say this is what I believe in, and I think there should be questions asked. You know, whether whether I personally believe in what you're saying or whether uh, I believe in what you say, what you say. I, I think if you're willing to stand up and go against the grain and what you believe, I think, like I said, it's admirable. It should be respected. Mm. Well, I mean, it's, it is what it is. You kind of, you you believe what you want to believe. Um, and I believe that there's something a bit more sinister going on than what we're being told. Um, and I don't think asking questions about that is a particularly bad thing to do. And, and if by me asking questions makes other people go and have a look and think, Oh, oh! But what's he said about that? Maybe I'll look into that a little bit because I don't expect, and I don't want, and I don't expect people to believe everything that I say. Uh, all I want them to do is to think for themselves, basically, um, and do their own research. I don't think that's asking too much. <laughs>